Well, hello, everyone. Um, happy Thursday. Hopefully you're watching this on Thursday. So uh, I wish I could have explained this live in person, but um, I've known for a couple of weeks that I would be out on Thursday and Friday of this week, 18th and 19th. But I thought I was going to have a chance to explain all of this to you on Tuesday. However, we had a snow day that day. So um, hopefully this video will explain everything I need you to do. Um, for those of you who are at home, um, you won't have to worry about too much that's different. For those of you that are in the classroom, obviously, there's a guest teacher in right now um, who has all the stuff for you. But um, let me just explain what we're doing. So we're taking a brief pause in our measurement unit, mostly because I really need to be in the classroom checking work and looking at measurements and getting things set up when we do that measurement unit. Uh, so what I've got for you today is something that fits in pretty well, and I don't necessarily have to be in the room in order for you to do it. Um, right now, I am working with the junior class. So some of the students in the junior class um, are taking an ACT college prep uh, little workshop today to learn to do better on the ACT college readiness test. And that's a test that every junior in Ohio is required to take. So someday that will be you. So I think what might make sense for today is to give you a little taste for just what the ACT science portion looks like. So I've made this myself, but I feel like it's a pretty good match. Um, and some of these are actually based on uh, practice ACT tests that you can find online. So um, you'll, if you're at home working remotely, you'll have PDFs of this. And if you're in my room, um, then you're going to have actual paper much like we do with most of our assignments. And what it'll look like is um, you'll have what we call a passage on one side, and you'll have five questions over here that use this passage in order to, um, in order to answer them. So um, you will read the passage, and it's typically filled with things like diagrams, graphs, and tables. And the topics that are addressed in the passage will not be topics that you've studied in science class before. That's on purpose. The ACT is not a test of all the little details that you've learned in your science classes. It's more like generally how to think and look at information um, that is scientific in nature. Okay, so, um, so you'll read the passage, and I know there's going to be some terms that you won't understand, the point is not to understand everything in the passage. The point is to get at the information that you need to answer the questions. So then you're going to look at the five questions over here and go back to the passage, the graphs, the pictures, um, whatever you know, text you might see, and answer it the best you can. If you have a piece of paper, you can just circle the answer right on this paper. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the answers into a Google form. Now, it's important that you get the correct Google form. On each version of this, there is a number and there's a letter. Every different number has a different Google form. So if you're working on um, the first one, it'll say practice number one, make sure you go to uh, the Google form for practice number one, okay? And then within that form, you're gonna be asked which letter you're using. Again, very similar to what we often do for my other assignments. So you have to say whether you're A, B, C, D, E, et cetera, so make sure you look at that because the answers to the different versions are different. The Google form will not grade yours correctly if you don't use the right form and enter the right letter. Okay, so then you're going to enter the, the five letter answers um, and click submit and then go right to where you can view your score. If you have anything less than a five out of five, that means you missed something. The Google form will tell you which ones you've missed, and I want you to go back and try to answer that one differently. Now, don't change the answers on the ones you got right, because I don't want your score to go down, but I do want you to think a little bit more about the one that you missed. And again, I know some of them are going to be challenging. It's not a race. I want you to just take your time and do this one as well as you can. Now, if you get your five out of five, that means you went a little more quickly than maybe some others, then you can move on to the next one. Okay, so after practice number one, there'll be another sheet. For those of you that are at home, um, I'm going to have two for you that are available. They're not consecutive, so you won't see like one, two, three, four, five. 
I think I'll go from number one to number four, all right? But um, those of you that are in the classroom, you'll have paper that has what you need, okay? Um, don't let yourself get frustrated, because I know, again, some of these are gonna be like, wow, how am I supposed to know this? But I promise you, um, every question that you're asked will have answers that are wrapped up in this information here on the left side, okay? So left side is passage, right side is five questions related to that, all right? Um, we will do this on Thursday and Friday both. You won't need to watch this video again, but when you come um, on Friday, uh, assuming you were here on Thursday, um, then you will continue on wherever you left off. So I'll have, you know, up to three, possibly four. Um, I'd be surprised if anybody got to four of them um, so that you can kind of push yourself a little bit. And uh, it's good to challenge yourself because some of you um, will do this a little more quickly. And that means maybe someday you'll get a little higher score on these college readiness tests that can open up greater possibilities for what you do after high school. OK. All right. So do the best you can on this. Um, and if there's any problems, I'll check in with the sub at some point um, and we'll work things out so that maybe tomorrow, Friday, goes a little better if, if there were any problems on Thursday. Okay. All right. Be rock stars. We'll see you all later.